Hey there, Explaindio users and slide creators. I had mentioned on a prior video that um, playing around with the uh, SWF tabs delays can be kind of fun and then you can even control when some of the characters point and everything. Remember me saying that? Check this out. Now that is cool, isn't it? See, um, the issue was, uh, well, all I had to do was, what she does, she comes out, she points one, two, three, and then goes away. But what I did was I used the delay panel and these settings you see here to stop her action. Once I set this up, then I went in and did the animation where she moves from side to side and everything else. So that's what I'm gonna show you here in a second. I'm not going to go really deep. I just wanted to show this to you. If anybody's interested, then I'll go further. But okay, you saw what the slide does. So using the delay controls, so that pops up. You can see that. All right. And then what I did was I put in the control panel so you can see what settings I use. That um, that businesswoman graphic is 160 frames, and here's how they break down. These are the frames where I put the action, and this is how long it delays before it moves on. And then you know what this is, one, two, and three, right? Okay, here's my girl right here. She's pointing, and then she's gonna move over and point to number two, then she's gonna move back over and point to number three. See there, and then she puts her hand down, and then I'm using my um, cheap version of kinetic text where I slide the green text in, and then it goes to the side. See, so that's that's pretty good. Let me go in here to where the action is so you can see what's up. See, here is, I'm using my mouse scroll wheel to zoom in and out. See, here is where it's happening. This is the first one, sorry. Uh, the first one you can't see because it's under this one. So what I do is I have her come out here and she stands here. See, she, this is the first one right this was it right here okay nope there's another one that's the that's the first one you can tell because there's no panel up here you only get this panel from the second and subsequent graphic and so you can see how stacked this is so this is our starting point and I put this on top and it sits there for 110 frames that gives our chance to point to the one okay then you can follow these lines and there was a suggestion to make these lines where you can kind of move them and edit them. You can't do that right now because you see you get you just click right off of stuff. But here's the second one. So she stays here for 120 frames, give her a chance to point to two. Then she comes over here. I need to put this back in place. Where she will point to three. Now let me see if I got three right one. And the reason she's moving up and down is because of that. I'm trying to stack it. There's number two. Now, number three is probably going to be off because I moved her. Oh, no, it's, it's relatively close. So let's, let me show you something. So here's number three. Her arm is not stuck out, but I kind of got an idea how close. So I can move it about right there. And let's see, one. See, one is kind of, I need to move that down a little bit because it's pointing into the word. Two is right on the edge of this, so that's pretty good. That floating around is because I stacked them. And then three. Okay, well, three is not bad. Now, one of the problems that you have is that when you're trying to stack these, you, it's hard to get the registration just right. Uh, that's why it looks like she's moving around a little bit. Same thing over here. It's hard to get the registration just right. But it looks like it's it's on. So let's see, there's one. See, she's moving a little bit. Well, it looks like she's breathing or something. Kind of breathing kind of hard. There's number two. And then we have number three. Now, she's starting off in this direction. When she gets over here, I click on the flip horizontal and that flips her in the other direction. Then I just create another point and move it over here and flip her back. 
you know, so she's going this direction and she flips and moves over here to number two and she flips back to number three and then puts her arm down and that's it. And then this is cool comes out. So if you just review this panel here, you can see all the numbers that I used and there's no temp, there's no slide template here. And as a slide creator, that burns me up. But anyway, you know, this, this is the way the software works. We ha I have other tricks for you. Don't worry. But uh, this is not a, a slide at all. This is just putting elements in place and making it happen. Now, this really is a nonsensical kind of display. It's only good for training. Uh, but you can get an idea of what you can do. Now, pay attention to the fact that the using display text, the one, two, and three in this, they all happen first before this animation. So all these have zero time and they have nothing in the uh, show action. That way, when you run the scene, boom, they're there, and then she starts to point. Now, using delay control, this slides up, and then everything else happens. See how she's flipping over there? And number two, and then here's number three. Boom. All right, and then she puts her arms down. Uh, get, and I can trail off some of those seconds that are left, but this is cool comes out fast enough for me. So that's basically what this is all about, people. Look at this video a couple of times and you'll see that there's a lot of versatility. And I, I, I picked her, but you know, if you bought those pro characters, the SWF characters, you know, the guy with the dog and the person at the desk, they do have animation in them that you can control. And then for the slide creators, if you also have this set, if you load up the SWF of the, of the characters I'm talking about in the pro set, you know, with the ones, the dog and the, and the guy with the idea, each element is broken out so you can actually go in there and change the animation if you own flash pro and you're a slide creator you do have the ability but even if you're not a slide creator and you have the ability to edit swfs because i think there's a there's a couple of other swf editing programs out there the problem is if they don't save to sws action script 3 version it's not going to work so what i would do is i would just Bring a graphic in, make one change, save it out, bring it in here and see if you can use it. And the way you do that is you click on add animation, click on this flash animation button, and then import your SWF and see what you got. If it works, then that means you're smoking. You can take all those uh, characters and change their animation and make them do what you want them to do, which is uh, something I'm going to be working on here shortly. But I just wanted to show this to you because I thought this was pretty cool. So let's check it out one more time before I go. One and two. And also finally three. And then it's gonna say, that's cool. You put your hand down, honey. All right, now. This is cool. My fake kinetic text. Thank you very much from ProSlidePacks.com and Rick here out, baby.